Hello and welcome to another EE140 tutorial video. In this problem, we have two particles traveling inside a bubble chamber. So we have particle A, particle B. Now particle A left a trail with a radius of 50 centimeters. Particle B left a trail with a radius of 10 centimeters. Now the magnetic field inside the chamber is 0.2 teslas coming out of the paper as shown over here. And both particles have the same magnitude electrical charge of 2 microcoulombs and the same velocity of c over 10. With c being the speed of light, so that's just 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 10. So we're just going to get 3 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. Okay. So now we are tasked to find the masses of particles A and B. Okay. So let's recall our magnetic force due to a moving particle or moving charge. So that's F equals Q V cross B and that is pretty much the same as Q VB sine theta with theta being the angle between the velocity vector and the magnetic field vector. Since we can see that they're orthogonal or perpendicular to each other from the illustration. We could just write this down as Q V B. Just a word of advice, we can only do that here since we know the angle between velocity and magnetic field is 90 and sine of 90 is just 1. So that's the same as QVB. Okay, moving forward. We also need to recall our Newton's second law. F equals MA. Which in this scenario, we need the circular motion. MV squared over R. Now to determine the masses, we need to equate the two together. That's going to be mv squared over r qvv. Only going to be left with 1v. So now we're ready to find the mass of particle A. That's just going to be qvr over velocity, which is 2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs times 0 0.2 teslas times the radius. Now let's be careful. Radius is given in centimeters here. We need it in meters. So 50 centimeters is just 0 0.5 meters. All of it divided by 3 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. And we get a result of 6.7 times 10 to the negative 15 kilograms. Now on to mass of particle B. Same thing. This is R sub A. This is R sub B. Velocity. And that is 2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. 0 0.2 teslas. This time it's 0 0.1 meters for radius, 3 times 10 to the 7 for our velocity, and this yields 1.3 times 10 to the 15 kilograms. That's it for part A. We're now moving on to part B, which for the particles have positive charge, and to determine that we need our right hand rule so 
So we can see for both particles, the velocity is coming from left to right. So velocity, designate that as our pointing finger. And we have the magnetic field inside the chamber as pointing out of the page. Designate magnetic field vector as the curl of our fingers. And the resultant is going to be F, which is determined by our thumb, our right thumb. So applying the right hand rule in this illustration, we have velocity vector pointing this way and 90 degrees or orthogonal to it coming out of the page is the magnetic field. So with our pointing fingers going pointing that way and the curl of our fingers pointing out of the page, our thumb is going to be pointing down which is going to be our resultant force. Now looking at what we just drew, we could tell that it fits the profile for particle A, so therefore particle A has a positive charge. Now in the case of particle B, in case you're wondering, it does have the same velocity vector pointing from left to right, and the same magnetic field inside the chamber which is pointing out the page, but somehow the trajectory particle B is going up, so that tells you that the resultant force is going up, and with the right hand rule agreeing with particle A, that just means that the force, the right force, doing the right, right hand rule is pointing down, then this force must be negative for it to flip from pointing down to pointing up. And with that, we could deduce that B has a negative charge, a negative here. And with that, we could conclude that particle A has a positive charge, positive charge. And there we have it. I hope this video is clear to you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.